and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. The fiscal health of any city is important. Uh, how much money in the budget is available for any sort of project is pretty important because it decides what gets done and what doesn't get done. In the city of Yorba Linda, the mayor is uh, looking at the fiscal health of the city down the road. Welcome, Craig Young. Thank you, Leslie. Good thank, to be here. Thank you very much for being here. Um, what is the fiscal health of Yorba Linda? How are you doing? Hey, good question. Yorba Linda is doing great. Uh, when, when I started campaigning for city council two years ago, uh, we were reported to be the number one city in the entire county when you cut the report as to how much cash we have in the bank, how much money we have in reserve as a percentage of our expenditures. So we're in good shape today, but I like the way you kick things off. It's what's going to happen 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now. And I assume you're talking about unfunded pension liabilities. And yeah. why isn't this included in the picture when you determine the fiscal health that is of a your great city? Question. Because if these uh, <laughs> liabilities are unfunded, the money's going to come from the general fund, and that's going to make a big difference on uh, how you have your police and your fire department and all the other um, things that happen in your city. Good. So you're ready to run for city council? I need you. You've got no, it thank figured you. out. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're exactly right. And it goes beyond the unfunded pension liabilities, which we hear so much about the last year or two. It includes unfunded health care liabilities, mm -hmm. uh, unfunded roadways, uh, unfunded roofs that are depreciating, unfunded equipment. When you put all of that together, it really amazes me, someone who comes from the private sector, that municipalities, cities, don't think about that kind of thing. That's just not who they are. That's not what they've seemed to have really had as their focus. Well, it sounds like you want people to start thinking about it. So what should we be thinking about in the big picture? Yeah. That, it, that's good. And, and not only do I want them to do that, I think we absolutely have to. We, we as cities need to have a long-term sustainable plan of how we're going to fund our roofs and our equipment and our, our pipes that are beginning to, beginning to depreciate, beginning to fall apart. Why isn't this considered? You know, I, I scratch my head. I really don't know. And in fact, you bring up the subject. Most subjects, I'm calm, cool, collected. I'm pretty sure my voice goes up an octave. My face probably gets a little red when I start talking about this because I can't figure out for the life of me why cities don't do this. Because it's difficult to deal with. It, well, it's almost impossible when you haven't spent a whole bunch of years already with your eyes on that ball. Um, let me give you an idea for Yorba Linda. Yorba Linda, uh, our numbers, because we're a small city, you know, we're a nice little bedroom community. Mm -hmm. The cash that we had uh, in, in the bank for these general reserves was $39 million. Uh, our expenditures were $26 million, so that's 150%. We could go for 18 months and never collect a dime and be able to be fine. But when you factor in the numbers that we've just talked about, that $39 million drops, not in half, it actually drops to negative $120 million is how much we should have in the bank that we don't have. And every day these issues aren't addressed, it just gets worse and worse and worse until there's Absolutely. a point where you don't have enough money in the bank. Well, and, and even at the $120 million, many will argue, many look at that and say, oh, it's this huge wall of debt, to borrow the governor's term, it's this huge wall of debt that we can't even jump over now. And the problem is so big, some people just want to turn a blind eye to it and say, well, let's not even deal with it. We can't figure it out. Let's focus on making the parks prettier for right now today. Okay, so we only have 30 seconds left, and I'd love to talk about solutions. Maybe next time we'll talk about more solutions on this. But uh, we want to quickly get to the, the library, the Nixon Library, oh. and the events that are coming up and what's available uh, there. The Nixon Library is such a gem. We are so fortunate in Orange County to be able to have a presidential library. There's only 13 in the entire country uh, that have presidential libraries. Uh, we have coming up, we have Dick Cheney and Lynn Cheney coming to talk about their book. Uh, we have uh, just the host of other speakers that are coming in. It was such a wonderful opportunity. And the facility itself is spectacular. Thank it's you. beautiful. Yeah, Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Glad you were here. And glad you could join us. I'm Leslie Layton.